Non-stoichiometric compounds are chemical compounds, almost always solid inorganic compounds, having elemental composition whose proportions cannot be represented by integers. Most often, in such materials, some small percentage of atoms are missing or too many atoms are packed into an otherwise perfect latticework. Contrary to earlier definitions, modern understanding of non-stoichiometric compounds view them as homogeneous, and not mixtures of stoichiometric chemical compounds. Since the solids are overall electrically neutral, the defect is compensated by a change in the charge of other atoms in the solid either by changing their oxidation state, or by replacing them with atoms of different elements with a different charge. Many metal oxides and sulfides have non-stoichiometry examples, for example, stoichiometric iron oxide, which is rare, has the formula FeO, whereas the more common material is non-stoichiometric, with the formula Fe 0.950. Non-stoichiometric compounds exhibit special electrical or chemical properties because of the defects. For example, when atoms are missing, the other atoms can move through the solid more rapidly. Non-stoichiometric compounds have applications in ceramic and superconductive material and in electrochemical system designs. Definition Non-stoichiometric compounds are chemical compounds having elemental composition whose proportions cannot be represented by integers. They are most often inorganic compounds, and almost always solids. In such materials, some small percentage of atoms are missing or too many atoms are packed into an otherwise perfect latticework. Contrary to earlier definitions, modern understanding of non-stoichiometric compounds view them as homogeneous, and not mixtures of stoichiometric chemical compounds. Since the solids are overall electrically neutral, the defect is compensated by a change in the charge of other atoms in the solid either by changing their oxidation state, or by replacing them with atoms of different elements with a different charge. History Non-stoichiometric compounds are also known as berthalides, as violators of the law of definite proportions, as opposed to the stoichiometric compounds or daltonides. The names come from Claude Louis Berthollet and John Dalton, respectively who in the 19th century advocated rival theories of the composition of substances. Although Dalton won, for the most part, it was later recognized that the law of definite proportions had important exceptions. Occurrence Iron oxide's non-stoichiometry is pervasive for metal oxides, especially when the metal is not in its highest oxidation state. For example, although wustite has an ideal formula FeO, the actual stoichiometry is closer to Fe 0.950. The non-stoichiometry reflects the ease of oxidation of Fe 2 plus to Fe 3 plus effectively replacing a small portion of Fe 2 plus with two-thirds their number of Fe 3 plus. Thus for every three missing Fe2 plus ions, the crystal contains two Fe3 plus ions to balance the charge. The composition of a non-stoichiometric compound usually varies in a continuous manner over a narrow range. Thus, the formula for wustite is written as Fe1XO, where X is a small number representing the deviation from the ideal formula. Non-stoichiometry is especially important in solid, three-dimensional polymers that can tolerate mistakes. To some extent, entropy drives all solids to be non-stoichiometric. But for practical purposes, the term describes materials where the non-stoichiometry is measurable, usually at least 1% of the ideal composition. Iron sulfides The monosulfides of the transition metals are often non-stoichiometric. Best known perhaps is nominally iron sulfide with a composition fez. The rare stoichiometric fez end member is known as the mineral troilite. Pyrotite is remarkable in that it has numerous polytypes, i.e., crystalline forms differing in symmetry and composition. These materials are always iron deficient owing to the presence of lattice defects, namely iron vacancies. 
Despite those defects, the composition is usually expressed as a ratio of large numbers and the crystal symmetry is relatively high. This means the ion vacancies are not randomly scattered over the crystal, but form certain regular configurations. Those vacancies strongly affect the magnetic properties of pyrotite. The magnetism increases with the concentration of vacancies and is absent for the stoichiometric fares. Palladium hydride Palladium hydride is a non-stoichiometric material of the approximate composition PDHX. This solid conducts hydrogen by virtue of the mobility of the hydrogen atoms within the solid. Tungsten oxide It is sometimes difficult to determine if a material is non-stoichiometric or if the formula is best represented by large numbers. The oxides of tungsten illustrate this situation. Starting from the idealized material tungsten trioxide, one can generate a series of related materials that are slightly deficient in oxygen. These oxygen-deficient species can be described as WO3X but in fact they are stoichiometric species with large unit cells with the formulas WNO, where N equals 20, 24, 25, 40. Thus, the last species can be described with the stoichiometric formula W400118, whereas the non-stoichiometric description WO2.95 implies a more random distribution of oxide vacancies. Other cases at high temperatures, titanium sulfides present a series of non-stoichiometric compounds. The coordination polymer Prussian blue, nominally phase 718, is well known to form in non-stoichiometric proportions, and the non-stoichiometric phases exhibit useful properties vis-a-vis -vis their ability to bind cesium and thallium ions. Applications Oxidation catalysis Many useful chemicals are produced by the reactions of hydrocarbons with oxygen, a conversion that is catalyzed by metal oxides. The process operates via the transfer of lattice oxygen to the hydrocarbon substrate, a step that temporarily generates a vacancy. In a subsequent step, the oxygen vacancy is replenished by the O2. Such catalysts rely on the ability of the metal oxide to form phases that are not stoichiometric. An analogous sequence of events describes other kinds of atom transfer reactions including hydrogenation and hydrodesulfurization catalyzed by solid catalysts. These considerations also highlight the fact that stoichiometry is determined by the interior of crystals. The surfaces of crystals often do not follow the stoichiometry of the bulk. The complex structures on surfaces are described by the term surface reconstruction, ion conduction. The migration of atoms within a solid is strongly influenced by the defects associated with non-stoichiometry. These defect sites provide pathways for atoms and ions to migrate through the otherwise dense ensemble of atoms that form the crystals. Oxygen sensors and solid-state batteries are two applications that rely on oxide vacancies. Superconductivity Many superconductors are non-stoichiometric. For example, yttrium barium copper oxide, arguably the most notable high-temperature superconductor, is a non-stoichiometric solid with a formula represented by YXBA2CU307-X. The critical temperature of the superconductor depends on the exact value of x. The stoichiometric species has x equals 0, but this value can be as great as 1. 